What up, family? I'm glad you're joining us on this wonderful consecration day. I'm just going to hop right into it. As people, we are always in a season of growth. And in order to grow, you must continue gaining new knowledge and applying it to your daily life. In this season of consecration, we are researching the fruits of the spirit. I want to talk today about temperance, better translated as self-control. It presents as an inward spiritual virtue of restraint or controlling one's thoughts, speech, and actions. The scriptures I use as a guideline is in 1 Kings 1-28. through Solomon now sits on the throne as a young king and is limited in his maturity the dealings of a king, but had strong knowledge of self and listened to the spirit. He didn't ask God for more wealth and increase, he asked for more increase in wisdom. 1 Kings 3 and 9 says, So give your servant an understanding mind and hearing heart to judge your people so that I may discern between good and evil. See, evil nature is always fighting for control over good. You must have strong self-discipline to ask the Lord to discern in all things good and evil. The Spirit always reminds you of what is right and how to navigate that. Prayer is a self-discipline. Asking for the right things from the Lord is self-discipline. Realizing who you truly are and asking God to give you what you're lacking is self-discipline. Now the desire for self-control comes from a healthy fear of the Lord. Proverbs 9 and 10 says, talks about the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Lord is understanding. That fear is simply put, respect and reverence. In this world, we represent him and live to please him. With that reverence in the forefront of your mind, we want to take control over our appetites, the way we act, what we say, and what we allow to linger in our thoughts. So on this day of consecration, ponder what areas you are falling short in and ask God to give you wisdom in it and the self-discipline to execute it.